Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout of the evening takes place over three rounds for the vacant Euro Featherweight Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Team Cowbon and bringing into the cage a record of six wins and one defeat, presenting Tiernan Lachran! Fighting out of the red corner, representing Team KF, and bringing into the cage a record of four wins and one defeat. Give it up for Craig McGrath. This is an exciting one, Paul Brown. Kind of came about last minute. I'm happy that it came about full stop. Originally, we were hoping to have a four-man one-night tournament. Uh, it wasn't to be in the end, but uh, a nice return for Tiernan Lochran. Fighting out of Team Cowbon. His brother, Kaelon, has been on an absolute tear recently in the pro ranks. His next fight will probably be for the Cage Warriors professional bantamweight title. Yeah, he's and been really, really uh, ripping it up over there. On the off chance that Peter Carroll is listening to this, yes, they were wearing the GAA Team Cowboy jerseys that he is so fond of. There we go, yeah. And Craig McGradden from Team KF here. Featherweight title on the line, your fighting championships. Tiernan's first fight in a while, am I right? Yeah, his last bout was in April. He lost uh, first round win at the choke of Teddy Stringer. Yeah, um, health issues along the way and things like that, so uh, good to see him back in action this evening. Craig McGratton out on the front foot. Yeah, Craig was like a dog looking for a bone there and he just goes where he's going to look for the... Ooh, Tiernan was thinking about a hip throw, I think, there, but he got his back against the cage there very well. Right. Yeah. yeah, so over the last year, year and a half, uh, Tiernan hasn't been very, very active. He's uh, been struggling to get out and get and you know as uh, health issues and whatnot and Craig the opposite Craig's been very very busy um, he lost he lost his first uh, or he, he picked up his first defeat in March but has won two fights since so being active being busy good wins over the likes of the Ryan Grad Lance Byrne Armin Hertzi yeah and Rory Burke lost a, that's an interesting hip throw attempt he nearly got his back taken off as well but nice recovery from Tierney even if he hasn't been as active as he's wanted over the last while, you know, like seeing, seeing Kalen's development as well, like you can tell that he's been training, the two of them have upended themselves, moved to Liverpool, yeah. and they're getting fantastic training, so the work will not have gone to waste, and he's hoping that tonight is the night that he gets to show it. Nice knee on the break, though, from Craig. That went straight into the centre. Exactly. Craig land those 
one, two, is trying to read that right hand found at home. Trying to keep McGrattan here against the fence where he has a beautiful uppercut. And a left hook over the top lands too. Yeah, if I'm tearing him, I'm not. He's down. Yeah, that's a second drop. I was about to say, don't fight your gum shield and get into a firefight. Yeah. Start to grapple. He's in real trouble here. McGrattan's hands are finding a home. There we go. McGrattan went wide-eyed. Yeah. And if that right hook had it connected, it would have been over. L Larkin just seen it come and dropped underneath. And this is the position where he needs to be right now to recover, to shake the cobwebs. It was such a big wild loop shot, it was never going to land. He just got overexcited, didn't he? He turns after locking off the hips nicely there to, to block any sort of submission attempt that was on the way. He's needed this... Uh, Could be an armbar here. ...little recovery state on the ground. He needs to stay safe though while he's here. Yeah, on the hook with the right hand, you've got a sweep. Chris Fields is asking for it. And gets it. Oh, and he finds himself almost on the back. Two hooks in. Landing more shots on an already damaged turn in Lachlan. He's in real trouble here, Andrew. He's already been rocked, sucked, knocked around a little bit in round one. He's having to survive now. Oh, that could have a few more seconds. There was an armbar attempt there. Uh, he thought about going for it and decided no, I'll ride out the round and then just snap on it a little bit late but I know it was on it was on in that little transition Chris Fields walking into the cage takes a look to his left just to see Tiernan you know I feel that people are adverse to the word 10-8 when it comes to amateur MMA but he was dropped twice 10-8 for me yeah dropped twice and a viable submission attempt at the very end there if I'm, if I'm sitting at the judges table I guarantee that 10-8 for me well, I'll sleep easier tonight, Paul. Thanks for that. <laughs> you see, the problem is, is that if I laugh at my own joke, it just nullifies it straight away. You know? I need to learn that. I need to learn that. I'm excited for this second round. Jesus, there was fury in Craig's eyes there when he thought he had the finish. Yeah, he smelled blood in the water and rushed it, didn't he? But he did have some great success. To meet him in the center of the octagon here. He'll be walking onto something if he rushes it though. Alright, by the way, George Rabbit's showing good accuracy. Nice entry from Locker. He's looking for the tie up here. Habib. He's looking for the lead tie up here. Craig Jones actually had a video out about this recently where he talked about some obscure, boring, lightweight fight. Uh, no, it was, it was about Black Chat, I'm only joking. But talking about how this position should be used way more by jiu-jitsu people and how it's the meta for MMA at the minute. If you can get that little leg triangle just above the knee, very, very bad position. That mobility of McGrath has gone now. It's very difficult to move his hips to try and you know, create any type of scramble. Trying to get his back to the None of those are options for him now. What can Lockeran do with this position? Can he progress, yeah, progress to the mount is what I think he's looking for here. The problem is that he has Craig just with his upper back against the cage, so he's in a he's in a dilemma of that I can't progress any further and I don't want to let go of the knee position because I want to pull him away from the cage. Yeah. So what he's doing with his head here is nice because I think he's going to try to drop him onto his right hand side now if he can take away the post he's going to try like lead with his head to move him onto his side try and repeatedly to try and get that right arm yeah he's the reaching it behind so it. it's like a, kind of tough one to do yeah, doing a great job here oh, he's going to sink the hips down yeah, good pressure from Mark on the top the shot was about to come and then Lachlan had no hand left to throw it with that's brilliant from McGrattan. He did something similar with his leg earlier on when he was in guard. That's a really underutilized concept. <laughs> to stop yourself getting hit. He's actually landing strikes from the yeah. bottom now. <laughs> I don't know 
don't know if that's been picked up, but uh, a fair point. I wouldn't call these damaging shots. Have, has anyone ever been submitted from Mount Top in mixed martial arts? It would be quite a, a bad position to lose from, wouldn't it? Yeah, it looked like there was a... There was a not, not that he was in danger of being submitted at all, but there was a... It's a legitimate position, legitimate lock. I can see where Chris Fields and Co. are coming from in terms of no damage. And he thought that the strikes from... Craig that he landed off the back there would seal the round. Uh, I'm not sure that they'd be enough to take the round above the, you know, the, the advantage of the position he did. He's pretty much getting the melt position, so that's way towards the locker room. But I can see where, yeah, like I said, I can see where he's coming from. You know, they were the only shot landed in the round, really, weren't they? So, we'll actually forward sell. If you're tuned in now for anyone on a particular team or you're going to tune out afterwards, stay for the next one. Elvis Luco and Ronan Deegan. Oh, man, that's the one. It won't go out of a round. That's the one I've been looking forward to all week. Oh, big left hand on that exchange for the and The urgency in locker strikes. I like to look at that head kick that Locker landed there. Yeah. Craig just opened his hands and said, go on then. He's putting out a high pace, high output in this round. He's freed the head, he's okay. Kaelin Locker very confident in the corner here, too, and it's right in front of his brother. He's giving him good advice on his head position and his knee position to be able to secure this. the butterfly guard here and he's going to try to use it to change the position could end up giving him the mount with it if he had a gone too far, far forward with it Lachlan seems to have landed in a leg drag position here he could pass directly to the mount but he's gone back into the guard and Craig has put him back in the guard I should say steps over into that half guard now and a nice cross face One more minute to work. I think he's going to. Uh, I thought he was thinking about a north south there, but maybe the cage was a bit too close. He's talking to us, Paul, but I can't hear him because I've got the headphones on. Yeah. Talking to his opponent, too. I take the headphones off and then he stops talking to us. Yeah. Same. But it seems like the north-south is a possibility. The only problem is that he's too close to the cage here, yeah. so he wouldn't be able to sprawl back into There's it. No space to work with. Yeah. Not enough shots just to keep himself from getting stood up, staying that little bit busy on top. 25 seconds to go on the clock. Massive pressure. McGrattan trying everything to try and get out of here and create a little bit of space, but that underhook that Lockhart has is going to keep him in that space, keep him chest to chest. Yeah, do you know what I have to say in terms of overcoming a situation? If if you want my gut opinion here, Paul, this is a draw. This is two 10-9s from yeah. Lochran, and it's a 10-8 from Craig. Could be. Could well be. Because of how close he was to being finished in that first round, the positions that we had, I think that's the fair result. Tiernan undoubtedly, undoubtedly had good control second and third round. 
But if we're not talking 10 eighths in terms of what happened in that first round, and it's not to be a slight, uh, Craig started very well, Tiernan weathered the storm, do you know what I mean? I do think you're going to see a 29 28 Lochran. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to your judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this bout 28-28. We have a draw. Mystic McGahan. Mystic McGahan. Mystic McGahan. Get me Paul Brown's attention. What a shout, Andrew. What a shout. You can't see me on the camera right now. I'm patting myself on the back.